Hello and welcome back to Casual Gaming. My name is Bishop and today we're going to dive into the Arca Select Game Ini and Game User Settings. Let's go into it. So here I have a complete vanilla setup where I have my vanilla game user user settings and no game Ini, if you have noticed. Pause, pause the video and you can go back and you'll see that this is completely fresh and vanilla and we're going to talk through a couple of two, two options that could help you run your servers better. Here is a wiki page that's server configuration uh, files for both the game any and game user settings, not only for Arc Ascended, but also Arc, um, Arc Survival Evolve. Here you will notice the ticks on which ones or which settings work on what server, ASA standing for Arc Ascended and ASE standing for Arc Ascended, uh, Survival Evolve. You can also, if you've noticed that you can see here that there is question marks under ASA, which means that they haven't been fully tested to see if they actually work in the AS, ASA settings. You will also notice that what I've highlighted just before shows that we're adding in a server setting under the game user settings called session settings. This session setting is where you go to add in the name of your server. So here we are, we're going back to session name. We're going to add that over into our settings file here. Don't forget when you do copy it over, make sure you put an equal sign beside it, then the name of the server. It's how, how it pretty much all understands it works. Now look, as you go down the page, there are also a number of helpful other settings that you can pull from the site and bring across into your user settings or game any any settings. Uh, as you can see, we're coming down to the game any settings. It's not something that comes automatically with the server. You've got to sort of put it together yourself. Uh, friendly tip that I've done before is I've copied over my previous ASE game any settings and I put it in this file myself. Here, I'm giving a quick demonstration on making my own super quick, super easy, super simple. And there we go. That's the start of our game mini settings ready to go. Here's one that I've previously done before. And here's one we just made done, made just ready then. As you can see here, scrolling down the list, there is such a large number of settings that you can play around with, optimize your server to the best of your ability as well, whether it's for your community or for your friends. Um, look, I would honestly sit here, play around with it, make sure you read what you're looking for. You can go as far as customizing your own over, um, settings to override some of the drops in ASA. Right now, we're using the search option by hitting Control F. We're looking for the harvest option so I can change the harvest multiplier on my game any settings. This is a much more Faster way to find what you're after to do it a little bit more quicker if you know what you're looking for. Here we go. We're just dragging it across and putting it as a, uh, as a multiplier by five and hitting save. There are so many settings to play around with and to optimize your server to the best of your ability. Look guys, this is option one that you can do. The other option for some, for some of us who uh, have done our research, we also can use, or you can also use Beacon. Just want to call out Beacon's not a sponsor in any formal way. It's just something that I wanted to show you guys that could help you utilize and set up your servers as best and optimized as quick as possible. This, this, uh, this app 
gives you the opportunity to customize absolutely everything at your fingertips. As you can see here, we're playing around with bre the breeding settings. It also tells you the incubation time, the mature time, the cooldown times, the imprint, the imprint percentages, everything down to the T so you don't have to make your own Excel spreadsheet to figure out what the numbers are going to end at after you adjust it, say, for here for the mature speed rate of 7. It automatically tells you that. This is a better tool, in my opinion, when you want to get things done right from the very beginning rather than play around with it with what we showed at the very beginning going through the website. Both options are viable. This one's a much more easier option. Those who are much more advanced and understand what, what each, each um, setting symbolizes, you can also go with option one. Option two is just a much more quick and simpler way. Simpler way. So right now we're just playing around with these settings as, I, as, as I'm just showing you. It's changing the imprint values, the per imprint and all of that, just so we can get a better optimization. Right now you can also play with, you know, recipe costs um, in this quick, quick example that I'm showing you. You can do creature adjustments here as also shown in the demonstration here. Makes it a lot more easy uh, versus the first option. This this one does a lot of the um, calculations for you again automatically and plus puts in the line for you where you don't have to do a lot of copy and paste and a lot of trial and error. The custom configuration here for the game user settings for those who run mods or do mods, this is where you put this hit in there in the custom configuration. Daytime, night cycle here. It tells you how, how long the daytime and nighttime last in ASA. Um, here I'm playing around with it and just show, showing, you the, showing you the numbers. Um, the spoil times and decay times here. Again, you can play around with those times not only for PvE and PvP, you can adjust the times to see what what um how long each each stage is gonna gonna take to decay. So thatch wood, it all shows you the timers here, so you get to play around with it a little bit more to figure out what's gonna work for your server at at a best optimized um, setting. Here again, um, you could set the difficulty depending on the maximum creature levels you want. It gives you a breakdown of the override difficulty level plus what tech's going to be wyvern level and crystal wyvern. Rather than download mods, you can also customize the engram control so you can auto unlock some of these at a level. Here's the general setting. Here in the general settings, you get to do the PVE cave building, uh, the harvest amounts, the taming amounts, the experience amounts. All of that's going to be here in the general general settings. As you can see, you can also search out what you're looking for at the top and it will take me directly to where I need to go. Otherwise, you can just go line by line and adjust what you want to optimize your server for the best settings possible. Here we can play with the harvest rates plus the harvest health, the damage, all of that. We can multiply it. We can add in some lines. We can add in engrams. Here we can really fine tune it. Here we can play around with the armor durability. We can play with the armor, armor rating, the damage rating for your weapons. Right now, ASA, in my opinion, I think is broken. And you can adjust and set up a cap for each, each in, um, for each, each one you can set up a cap for armor you can set up set up a cap for the weapons bear in mind when you change one it automatically changes the input for all of them so it's a little bit hard to isolate the ones that you want to cap because it sort of builds a cap in for all of them so as you can see i changed the armor to 850 and it adjusted the 850 accordingly for the others you do the same thing for one of the weapons it adjusts the weapons accordingly as well so just bear that in mind you can cap them on what people can find out in the wild and drops um, it just sort of stops that um, anything too overpowered or too broken. 
and we can play around with the the levels and experience of players and teams we can add stuff in uh we can also uh, customize the the experience needed per level too um here's a, here's another good one this is one that i i use this mainly you can also use the first option that i showed you using a website to do this and get the get your get the links to set up here we can adjust each drop on what they drop we can set up the white drops to give out beginner gear set up ready for newbies onto our server to help them start um, prime example i'm looking for a crossbow here and i'll type in tranks and we'll adjust it so crossbow and tranks will always drop in a white drop for any new player that would have come across them Sorry, it took me a little bit to realize that I had set it up to a higher high maximum. But as you can see in the in the simulator below, it will always drop one crossbow and 45 tranks. We can adjust the minimum and maximum quantity and make it a little bit more random. So, you know, not everyone gets the same amount, but it's entirely up to you. You can customize every drop how you see fit. And it also reduces the mods that you put on your server. If I can hold less mods on, this, on my servers, the better my servers will be optimized because we can use it and set it up using the game any and user settings. Here we can set up uh, the server name, we can give it nicknames, we can set up the message of the day, we can config the map that we're after for the server. We can set up the admin password, the server password, spectator password. It's all here as well. It saves us mucking around with it versus the previous option that I showed before. This one here is one of my favorites. You can actually customize your stack sizes in your game depending on how you like it you can set up a global size stack of four so your average uh, normal stack from uh, official service for wood for example would be 100 we've changed it to four it would now stack up to 400 we can also pinpoint additional ones if we like like honey and prime meat and set those up as a stack stack size even higher than the standard one rather than bringing a mod we can adjust that here here we can adjust the levels of play and creature uh, when we go to creatures, just bear in mind in a, in a second, I'll swap over to creatures. Um, it, this is set up to official standards. As you can see with the health for wild per level is one, tame per level is 0 0.02. You change that to a one and the health of any tame dino that anyone tames on your server will skyrocket through the roof. So just bear that in mind. This is official settings and the moment you play around with that, You'll start, uh, you'll start skyrocketing some of the settings way past the, uh, the, the standard official. So just play around with a little bit by a little bit is my honest opinion. Don't go too, too overboard. And that's pretty much it. When we're happy and ready, I, you click on export have a quick overview of all the settings you adjusted and then you just save it on your desktop and then drag that file over to your server settings and replace it. It's as simple as that. It took away a lot of the fuss versus the first option I showed at the very beginning. It makes it much more simple and puts it in a file ready to go. Hope this video helps guys in helping you optimize your server to the best of your ability. Um, that's it from me. Take it easy. Bye.